In this video, I'm going to mention every tool that I use to do my nails. Starting with nail preparation, you will need to have a nail trail, which will help you clean the area that is on the side of your nails uh, near the cuticles, but you can go over there with a simple lime. Make sure all the sides of your nails are clean and ready. You don't need to be harsh to it. It doesn't need any pushing force or anything. You have to be very gentle. It is uh, like very easy to use. You just have to uh, learn the technique and you will not have a problem with it. It's important to go near the area of the cuticle because it lifts the skin a little bit, uh, making it easier for you to cut the cuticle afterwards. I'm going to leave the link on the description so you can see it. Now I'm going to use a cuticle cutter. This is a very important step because it is very very important that you cut the cuticles around your nails because it will be easier to apply all the products that you are going to apply after nail preparation. It is also better to cut them because this can uh, make your nails last longer because the moment your products will touch the skin it may uh, cause them to fall out faster. In this step, it is very, very important that you be careful because you're supposed to cut only the dead part of the skin. If you go in too deep, it may cause bleeding and it will hurt you or the person you're doing nails. So make sure that you only cut the dead parts of the skin. I will continue cutting the skin until it's all done and ready so I can move on to the next step a uh, cotton pad with nail cleanser because it's very important to keep the nail clean while doing them this is also a very useful tool that you can use to push the skin up uh, since I use the nail drill I didn't really need to use this one because that uh, gets the job done too but if you don't have a nail drill you can use this to push the skin up so it will be easier for you to cut it now I am going to use primer. It has a lot of benefits, like uh, preventing your nail from molding. Apply it as you would while you would polish your nails. Now we are going to apply base coat. It is important that you make a thin layer of base coat because it doesn't need to be very thick, it's just the base of the nail. While you are applying base coat, make sure it doesn't touch any part of your skin. It only has to be in the area of the nail. If it touches your skin, make sure that you clean it before uh, curing it. Now I am going to cure base coat for like 60 seconds, it doesn't need more, you can also do it for 30 seconds. After curing base coat, I'm going to apply Builder Gel. I chose this shade because I'm going for a natural look. I like to make small circles while I uh, apply the Builder Gel because I feel like it's easier to uh, make an even surface. Go to the sides of the nails so the product will spread on the whole area of the nail. It doesn't have to be perfect because uh, afterwards I will take a thinner brush and I'll make sure the ends are all uh, covered with builder gel but it didn't uh, touch my skin. You should do this until you know that every surface of the nail is covered with builder gel, of course not touching your skin, and make sure you don't leave any bumps or any um, bubbles of air because sometimes it happens. Now that I feel like my nail is all done, I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds and then come back. This is my nail after 60 seconds of curing. Now I'm going to use the nail drill bit to make sure that I have a flat surface. If I made any bumps or anything, it will uh, correct it. I'm going to speed up this process a little bit because it's basically the same as the 
uh, filing part in the beginning it's just you have to make sure that you have a flat surface of the builder gel and that you can continue with the procedure of doing your nails I'm going to skip this part because it just continues filing like this. Now I'm going to use the nail cleanser again to clean the nail and this is how the nail looks after the filing. It is very good, looks very natural and it's very even. Now I'm using a lime block, block lime, I don't know what they call it. This makes the nail even uh, more ready for the polish application because it will look better. Now I mentioned earlier that I'm going for a very natural look so I'm just going to use this light shade of pink, I guess. I like this color very, very much because it's very cute and it looks very very natural. It almost feels like I've just painted my own nails. I haven't but put all these products on it. After this um, gel polish application, I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds and it will look something like this because it's matte. And now I'm going to add top coat. I'm going to apply it exactly like the other layers of gel polish and everything else. After applying it, I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. This is the final result. I hope you like it and I hope this was a helpful video for you. If you want me to continue doing more, please say so in the comments and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.